Hi and welcome to the Scottish Wedding Channel. I'm Louise Ballantyne, freelance makeup artist, and today we're going to show you one of the looks from the Oscars 2015 from Chrissy Teigen. First, what we're going to do is prep the eye with a base. The base we're going to use is a prolonged paint pot from MAC. This will keep your eyeshadow on longer and create a nice base for the shadow. And you want to take that right up to the brow bone and right into the corner of the eye. We'll now set that with a powder called Blank Type. And with a large fluffy blending brush, what we're going to use is a Pro Longwear colour just in the crease, which is great for the transition colour. This is uninterrupted. Now to darken that colour, we're going to use a shade called Cocoa Bear. Now I'm going to press in a colour which is a gold tone called Woodwinked. And you're just taking this colour right up to the crease. And then taking your blending brush and blending the two together. I'm going to take a warm brown in a darker shade called Embark and place that in the outer corner. Three quarters of the way along the lash line. Next we'll take a gel liner, this is a black gel liner from Maybelline and we'll press this into the lash line. Feel it down for me. I'm going to just go over that line and soften it and diffuse it out with a black powder called Carbon. Next what we're going to do is pop some lashes on. These are Eldora and they're a double lash so they're slightly thicker. Again you want to measure your lashes just to make sure they're not too long for your natural eye shape because if they're too long they can end up being uh, giving you a droopy effect. If you open it down. Once you've got your glue on your lashes, you can allow that to get tacky and pop your mascara on. If you like to into the mm -hmm. floor. Okay, so now that your lash is on, you want to wait until that's completely dry before you use more mascara. Because these are a double lash, they do take a wee bit longer to dry. Okay, so we'll take a liquid liner in black. Down. 
And we'll start with the line along the lid. We'll do the inner corner and then we'll do the flick. So if you look down over to your left. Okay. So you can just build up the thickness of the flick until you're happy with it. Once you're wiping away any excess shadow, you can take a cotton bud or a wipe and just really perfect that flick and make it really angular. Now we're going to go back in with the black carbon shadow and just smudge along that liner just so that it's really soft. And look down over to your left. Now that the lashes are completely dry, you can add a coat of mascara just to the base of the lashes. You want to keep the edge of the, sorry, you want to keep the tip of the lashes mascara free. Now that we've finished the eye, we're going to base the skin with a primer. And we'll use L'Oreal Infallible Primer. Concentrating on the T-zone area of the face, as that's the, the areas that get oily and shiny first, generally. Next what we use is Luminous Silk, uh, this is by Giorgio Armani. I'm buffing this into the skin rather than um, using a flat brush, it just gives a more soft um, kind of dewy effect. So we've left underneath the eye area as that's where we're going to use the concealer. We'll also use a concealer at the forehead, down the centre of the nose and on the chin for uh, contour. So I've used MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. On the top of the lip as well. And then we're just blending that in to the rest of the foundation. So you're just taking that concealer right up until it meets the shadow. Then when it gets to the flick, you want to take a wee bit of your concealer. And just kind of wipe it clean. Quite often people forget the inner corner of the eye actually has a lot of blue tone so if you make sure that your concealer or your eyeshadow base goes right into the corner here. Now I'm only going to set the foundation in areas which might get oily because we want to keep that nice dewy finish. So we'll powder the forehead. The chin, look up for me. 
and rain the nose and dry area. Next, we will fill in the eyebrows. Um, we're going to use a shade called Dirty Blonde. It's a fluid line gel liner from MAC. Because this is quite a strong look, I'm going to go over the brows with the slightly darker shade, which is called Dip Down. Okay, so now we will pop our brow gel, which is a clear gel. And a small drop of our concealer. And this is just to clean around the brow area to give it a more sharp shape. Now we're going to use the bronzer from MAC called Give Me Sun. And we're just going to sweep this down the cheekbone and blend it in at the same time. So it's not going to be um, a strong contour at the moment. For the contour definition, I'm going to use a powder from MAC called Harmony. This is more of a precise brush than the one before and this just goes on top of the bronzer. The highlighter that we're going to use is a mineralised powder from MAC called Global Glow. And we're just going to place that on the cheekbone and on the bottom of the nose. We we'll also take a smaller brush and we'll place a wee drop of that on the cupid's bow. The blush that we're going to use is called Melba. Is my over me? So for the lips, what we're going to do is use a really dark shade like Chrissy Teigen, John Legend's model wife. Um, we're going to use a liner called Night Moth from MAC and a YSL lipstick in 08. To make the lipstick last slightly longer, I like to use the pencil all over the lip, almost to give the lip a stain before the, the colour goes on. Working with such a dark colour, to neaten up the edges, you will use your concealer. And a small concealer brush. On top of that, we're going to use a uh, Armani lip gloss just to warm up the tone slightly. And there we have our finished look.
Thanks for watching our Oscars inspired makeup from 2015 of Chrissy Teigen. Coming up is our hair tutorial to follow.